We are inviting everyone to a friendly gathering of the minds. A tea party, so to speak. As a collective we can trade our ideas and share them with the world. On November 5th we call upon our great nation to stand with us. Greetings world, we are anonymous. So last night I went down to the anonymous Million Mask March in London. It was people coming together to protest government corruption, corporatism taking over our lives and spying on everyone by the NSA and other intelligence agencies as well as a whole lot more. And it was all part of a global protest. These are highlights from our live stream in London and from the protests taking place all over the world. It's hard to tell, but I'd say, I don't know, a couple of thousand might be here now. The only way, really, to get out here and like, you know, go a bit. I'm sick of trying to be in trouble what to do when I don't need to talk. We have unity, so I'd say we're better organised than they are. ideas of unity and the fact that we all have common purpose, mm -hmm. we all uh, have common needs and uh, we need to build a society that caters for them because we're one people, one planet and uh, that's my take on it anyway. I think the main concern for everybody is the money and they're going to the banking. Mm -hmm. Why aren't they being penalised when it's quite clear that they need to be? Anonymous to me is, is just a movement, a collective movement of people who I've never met and uh, people like me and you. outside the Houses of Parliament, streaming the Million Mask March in London, which was organised by the Anonymous Movement on Guy Fawkes Night, because people are wearing Guy Fawkes masks from Beef with Vendetta, which is the Anonymous Mask. And we're in the middle of the road at the moment, because protesters have stopped a bus. Hi, can you explain, if people have been stopped here permanently, or are they going to be allowed to move on in a, a little bit? Are you able to say? No. And now there seems to be a bit of a struggle kicking off now between police and some of the protesters. There were little scuffles and a few arrests at some of the marches, but for the most part it was all peaceful. So don't be fooled by any headlines are telling you otherwise. <laughs> But there was at least one place where things did get out of control, and that was in Armenia. Marchers there had an extra reason to be out on the streets. They're protesting against what they say were fixed elections. Firecrackers were thrown and battles swung, and eventually the police cracked down really hard on that march, and 20 people ended up getting arrested. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. 